Are you selling or thinking of selling your business in the near future? Here are some very important things you need to know before you do that. The thing with a business is if it's not done the right way when you are selling or transitioning your business, it can be very, very expensive tax-wise. So first things you gotta consider, are you incorporated? I know it's a no-brainer and probably many of you out there are, but if you aren't, now you're selling something that is gonna be completely taxed in the year you're getting it. So if you're not incorporated and you're selling this for anything significant, call it 50 or 100 grand or higher, you should definitely consider incorporating it and implementing that strategy ahead of time. Now assume you're incorporated. You are selling a bunch of different things or, or options for you. You could sell the shares of the company. You could sell the assets. You could sell you know, the inventory. There's a whole bunch of different ways you could structure this. Now these get a little bit complicated, but for the nuts and bolts of it, let's assume that you are selling the actual shares of your operating company. So call it a Canadian operating company. You want to sell the shares. Why would you want to sell the shares? For most people, selling the shares will allow you to access Canada's small business uh, capital gains exemption. So uh, it's, it's over $800,000 for all Canadians right now, provided you're a participant in the business. So there are some tax tests to make sure that you do meet the test for participation. Now, we're not gonna cover that today, but let's assume you do. That can be a whole chunk of money that comes into your pocket outside of the corporation tax-free. Now, the buyer's gotta be willing to buy your shares and not the assets. Now, that's a big advantage for you. You can benefit from the tax, the small business capital gains exemption, but you also have to remember that there are some rules with respect to cash and passive assets. So the key one is cash, cash inside of your business. So make absolutely sure that the year you're selling your business, you have either consulted with a guy like me or your accountant to make absolutely sure that you meet this test. The worst thing on earth would be for you to sell this business, assume you're getting the exemption and then you don't get it. So the cash test is an important one. So generally it's in the current year, you need to have less than a percentage of cash and you also need to be able to go back three years. So the cash test is a big one and you need to make absolutely sure you do meet that test. Second of all, if you're selling the actual assets, you're not selling the shares. Okay, well now we gotta figure out how much of that is gonna be taxable, what is the cost base on all of those assets and how much of that is gonna be taxable. So the key for that is you will want your average cost base or your ACV to be basically as high as possible. Now, you're gonna get into a situation where there's gonna be some more taxes to pay in that case, but depending on how you've structured and depending on how much cost base you're able to add to that and depending on some of the creative work you're able to do on the accounting side, you might be able to reduce your tax somewhat. Now, regardless, once you have these dollars, you'll wanna have the portfolio structured in, an, in a tax efficient manner. So the dollars that either get sold out into your personal name or the dollars to get, that get sold out into the corporate name, you're either gonna to wanna to have a significantly tax efficient portfolio personally or in the corporation. And that's the kind of stuff we do. And how do we do that? We focus on dividend, a dividend tax credit is huge for business owners. We focus on ROC or return of capital that's usually done through a REIT or a real estate investment trust or, or alternate investments like that. And on the fixed income side, you can get some prep shares that end up paying uh, dividends as well. It's classified for the dividend tax credit as well. So the focus has to be tax efficiency once you've sold the business and make sure to consider all those factors before you sell it. Because once you've sold it, it's too late. That's it for today, guys. Thanks. Like the video if you liked it, share it please, and I'd love to hear your comments.